Crash Test Parents. Today I want to talk about something fairly serious, which is baby monitors and how to make sure that yours is safe. Because I read this terrible story about a two-year-old girl who had some pervert hack into her baby monitor and start to say perverse things. He could even see her name because it was written in her nursery on the wall and started to use her name and say obscene things. So that's horrible. It's freaky and it scares me. So I want to talk about how you can make sure that you have the most secure system for your monitoring system. So right now there are three different types of monitors that I see being used on the marketplace right now. There's analog monitors, digital monitors, and then webcams. Those are three different types of things. So let's talk about the difference. An analog monitor uses a shortwave radio frequency that gets a lot of static. They tend to be a little bit less expensive. Devices can interfere with them a lot. And also they're not really all that secure because anyone with a receiver on that same frequency can just get close enough and either hear or see your monitor. So that's a little bit scary. Digital monitors also use a shortwave radio frequency, but that signal is encrypted. That means that it sends that signal with a password and only your receiver has the password to pick up that signal. So it is a bit more secure, but again, it's still on the shortwave radio frequency. So there may be a little bit of interference. We hear parents complaining about interference with either their cordless phone or their wireless router. But that's, uh, it's still a pretty good system. But again, you can't leave the house with it. And this third trend I'm seeing are people using webcams as their digital baby monitor. So this means that you're using your home Wi-Fi network to send and receive a signal. Um, a lot of times you can pick up their signal on your smartphone using your cellular network or your 3G or 4G system data um, because you are picking up the signal that is being sent through Wi-Fi. So this also it tends to be a bit of an expensive system, but it depends on, there's so many different types. So let's talk about how you secure each type. Now, if you have an analog monitor, there's not much that you can do to secure it because Again, this is the type of thing that's sending out a signal on a frequency that anyone can pick up. Uh, you can buy a 2.4 gigahertz frequency monitor that's analog. It's a bit more of an expensive system and it's less likely that someone has that kind of receiver. It's also, it has a bit less interference as well. That's why it's more expensive. For digital monitors, you probably are pretty safe because again, that signal is encrypted. So you only can pick up the signal with that designated receiver. Um, but if you want one that's even more secure, you can look for one that's called DECT. That stands for Digital Enhanced Cordless Communication. And this is a special frequency that's reserved for voice communications. But again, you're limited to staying in your home with a digital monitor. You can't log in from your smartphone or from your computer when you're at work. Now webcams, these kind of monitors that either you can pick up on your computer or your smartphone, these are a bit harder to secure. You have to make sure that your home network is password protected and make it something that's hard to know, not just password or love or family or even your last name. Don't do that. Make it something that other people have to ask about. Also, I like to name my Wi-Fi network something that seems kind of menacing, like FBI truck or monitoring van or um, virus infected or something like that. Use words like that so that no one's going to think, oh, I'm going to get on the Morris family network. Because if we just named our Wi-Fi Morris, then someone could come around and hop on and do nefarious things. So don't do that. Also, use a system that requires a password to get into that webcam. So um, there are apps that require that you have a password to log into your baby's camera. Then you can give the password to either grandma or the babysitter um, or anyone else who comes around that you trust. But use a password system because there are also monitors that don't require passwords that will just pick up a signal if you're on the same Wi-Fi network. Don't do that because that means that some stranger can come along, get on your Wi-Fi network, and then log into your baby's camera. You do not want that to happen. So um, those are just a few tips for making sure you've got the best system. We review webcams and baby cams on Crash Test Mom, so see our reviews for that. And if you have questions about specific ones, you can always write me at all the info on the screen. Thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, be safe out there.